Hey y'all, it's time to sit down and relax and do some crafting. I don't know about you, but it has been a monster of a day. It has been so busy. And then all of a sudden I realized it's time to spend some time with my friends. So I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Um, it's just me and you. Um, Paula is away on some family business. So we're just going to, and Lacey, me and you, Lacey, we're just gonna sit down and just have a little relaxation time and just have a good time. So if you're a master crafter, I hope to get your mind just running and thinking about things that you can be making. I'm gonna be making a lot of my Christmas presents this year because I just keep getting more and more people added to my family. So if you're like me, gosh, I'd have to get another job somewhere to pay for all of this. So we're gonna make some presents um, and we're gonna still celebrate and do some Christmas stuff. So I just wanna get your mind going on that. If you're not normally a crafter, I want to welcome you and have you just come in and have a good time and you'll see that crafting is just really a whole lot easier than you thought it was and if you do it the right way it doesn't cost hardly anything at all so I'm so glad here we're gonna get started because today we're gonna to make a growth stick or a growth ruler whatever you know I was going through Pinterest and I was thinking that it would be a good present for someone in my family. And so I looked down and it was on uh, Etsy. So I thought, well, I'll just check it out. $75. They wanted $75 was the average amount for a growth stick. Y'all, that's crazy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's going to be easy. It's not gonna cost you, but uh, it's under $5 way under five dollars so let's get started on that all right so the first thing that I bought was a um, one by six board it was pine I spent a little extra money on it I spent a little over two dollars on this board um, because it was a pretty board and um, it's six foot long now the little fellow that I think I'm gonna make this from, I doubt very seriously that he's gonna be six foot tall because he has some shorties in his family. So that's okay because what we're gonna do is we're going to decorate the top. We're still gonna have that six on there. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. First off, I took the board and I stained it. Now y'all know I am all about the stain. Um, I didn't think about it when I was putting it together because my uh, stencil <laughs> looks like wood too. So bear with me y'all, this is gonna be all right, okay? Now, I uh, had bought some stain to match a barn door that I have in our studio. And it's really dark, but when I brought this home and put it on, on the pine, it um, was not near as dark as what I'd look for. So one thing you might want to do is every time you want to match a stain or you want to kind of come close to a color, take a piece of it with you. And that works really, really good if you'll do that. Now this says, this was made by Rust-Oleum. <laughs> Not myself, no, I didn't know. Um, Varathane Wood Stain Provincial. See how dark it is? Nay, witty, it's not that dark, really. So what I really have is this really pretty wood. Now, I went ahead, like I said, I spent a few more dollars on it. For one thing is because I liked the way it looked really clean and pretty, but it also had knots. And I don't know about y'all, do y'all love knots? I love knots in wood. I think it gives it a lot of character that nothing else gives. I'm gonna move that stain before I end up getting on me again. So by the, when I, see how those knots stick out, y'all? Beautiful knots. And we're gonna talk about those knots here in just a minute. So I have a Silhouette Cameo 
did, I don't know, it wasn't acting for me, so my friend Lacey hooked me up and let me cook, cut out uh, for today's craft the measuring part, and I thank you so much, Lacey. Um, so what I did is, if you will go to Walmart and get duct, the duct brand, like the duct tape, the duct brand um, shelf liner. It's sticky on the bottom, doesn't cost very much. Now, I just ran into our close family dollar and picked this up. Didn't think about it being wood, so it does kind of go away on here, but we're gonna work on that. Um, it, if you have a Cameo, don't spend all that money on that vinyl that you cut to do stencils. Now, if you're going to leave it on there, that's a different story. But if it's a stencil, you want it to be something inexpensive. So if you don't have a Cameo, that's okay, or a Cricut, um, because you can also get you an X-Acto knife. Spend some money at Walmart on a good X-Acto knife. Dollar Tree's X-Acto knives. Uh-uh, don't do that. They fall apart. Um, but you want to um, cut out one long, two short, one long, two short, one long. And you just want to go as long as you can on that. I did these in one foot long. And actually, if you'll notice, it has one extra two long, long one on the bottom because you've got one, two, three, four. <laughs> Excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But the reason that I did number 12, hey Mary Kay, the reason I did number 12 was so I could line it up with each other because even though, um, He's not gonna be six foot tall. That's okay. We're going to make it, I didn't want it, I know he's gonna be over five foot, so I didn't want it just to kind of drift off up there, okay? So I'm gonna make it six foot tall, but I'm not going to make it, I'm not gonna start at the very bottom with zero and go to one foot. Two reasons. One reason I just thought it looked better. You can see the six, which I think ends it but also I want her to screw this on the wall or fasten it to the wall and she's gonna have baseboards so we need to allow to that so I'm allowing for about a half a foot six inches roughly about that that she can measure from the ground up so that it ends up being six foot do you follow me okay so what I did let's go ahead and do that also Invest in a little bit of clear uh, paint. Hey, hey, Jan's with us too. Um, some clear transfer paper. That's very important, and you'll want to transfer everything over. And goodness gracious, did I forget my scissors? Yes, I did. Talk among yourselves. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm so sorry. I normally have a jar that I keep all of that in there, but oh my gosh, I've been rearranging everything today. When Polly gets back, she is not going to know what's happened to the studio. I am combining a barn and the studio together. Okay, so with the shelf paper, it has this backing on it. So what we're going to do is just pull that backing off and leave the hole. Okay, so I told you I left a hole, and I've already done six, five, and four, just so y'all didn't have to sit here and watch me do this all day. And I'm lining up, I'm lining up my long line, and I'm putting the long line right here, and we're just easing it down to make it match. This one is a little long and it's covered up the other hole. So you need to make sure all your holes are, are open because we're gonna paint in these holes. All right, mash it down really good and tight. And then we're just gonna pull the transfer paper off. And 
And I probably could have done without the transfer paper on this since it was just a line, but it's so much easier to be able to pick it up, move it where you want it, and then lay it down and then rub it really good. So we got three, so we're gonna do two, and I like to put them right here in that line. You know, see this line right here. So we're gonna take number two, pull off the backing, Oh, at the floor. <laughs> and then we're gonna line it up with this. Put it right here. Another thing good about using the transfer paper is if I, I can kind of move it and make it even with the two and the three can be even. I also did a little verse at the top. I'll be showing y'all here in just a little while. So we're gonna pull this off. Did anybody, did y'all ever have a, a, a growth stick at your house? Or I know my daughter had a, um, seems like it was in the pantry where she measured everybody. But the problem with that is you don't ever live in the same house or especially when your kids are little, you kind of have to grow with your house. So that, um, that kind of messed things up for them. Now see, I did a whole page of the lines. So it would just be easier, and if I mess it up, which you know I'm good at that, but if I messed it up, then I had a way of just going back and always make an extra one if you can. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut this one off close so that we can make it over here on this one. It's just easy, tedious work, but you know what, after today, I needed easy, tedious work. What's the, what? Oh, Paula, where's Paula? Paula is off with um, taking care of some family stuff going on, and I'm not exactly sure how long Paula's gonna be gone, but I hope it's not very long. <laughs> I do miss her. Y'all, she is such a good friend, and she is just so fun to do things with. Everybody needs that friend that just makes them laugh, and that's Paula. She, she cracks me up. She really does. Everybody needs a Paula. Okay, now, as you can see, it stopped right here. This is gonna be my last line. And that's roughly about six inches, but she can measure when she puts this on the wall. She is, she is a good friend. She's a mess. She is. Okay, so we're gonna peel this off. We're almost through with this. Now, I was thinking about what kind of paint I was gonna put on here. Um, one thing also, if you get it stuck on there, just go with a little needle. I keep a needle on a bright pink ribbon because I lose stuff. So we're gonna ease up underneath this vinyl and just kind of loosen it a little bit because I cannot get a hold to the end and just leave a little hole here. And this is gonna just ease off. There we go. Boy, that was stuck on there good this time. So about the paint, I was really going to make it the colors that she has. And um, so we just, um, just got to, I just got to thinking about it. And you know what I just said? They're not gonna be there forever where they're living right now. When she get, when he gets bigger, they're gonna need a bigger place. They may have some other little babies to add to it, so they're gonna need a bigger place. So let's make it neutral colors. Unless you think they're gonna always be there, neutral colors are the best way to go. Any kind of brown pretty much mixes with any kind of brown. But on this, I'm going to do like an antique or a off-colored white and I'm just gonna paint this 
I've got one more one that I need to put on here. And I'm gonna put it on the end. I'm gonna eyeball it where it looks like it's about where this one is. Let's pull this one off. Alrighty now, ready to go. Okay, so I have, um, I have a whole bunch of paint that I had left over when I painted the studio, and it's a creamy off-white. So this is what we're going to use on this one. I'm gonna use a sponge brush, and I'm not gonna coat it hard. I'm not gonna put a lot of paint on it. I'm gonna be very, very easy. And I'm just gonna kinda of blot it. Let's put it over here so you can see it. You know, I was talking earlier about the knots. Um, and I remember I do have, did go to college actually and did horticulture, um, didn't do me a whole lot of money wise, but I did learn an awful lot of things about horticulture. And do you know, trees, when they grow, they grow straight up, right? They do. You don't ever see them really tall and gross of limbs way down here. That doesn't happen. So what they do is as they grow higher, their cambium, their umbrella gets bigger, okay? The size of the root down at the ground is the same as their umbrella up at the top. It really hadn't anything to do with it. I don't know, I just threw that in there. Anyway, as the tree grows, it drops limbs from the very bottom. Or if they're in your yard, you trim those branches. And you trim those off so that you can walk under the tree. And it makes it look prettier if you do that way. Now, because the umbrella stops some of the light from coming in from the bottom, and because we cut off some of those branches, it also, it causes the knots because the light doesn't shine as good on those spots as it used to. And it's not as important anymore to that tree to grow those limbs. So, you know, I thought that's, that's pretty profound. I enjoyed learning all about that. But also, are there things in your life that you learned from or that you outgrew or that you learned that wasn't the right thing, that you no longer needed that anymore? When you got the light of Jesus, did it take away some of that stuff that was there? Now, what makes the knots on the inside of the board is that the cambium layer that stuff that's inside under the bark grows. It grows bigger and it grows bigger. So the tree doesn't, sa doesn't stay that little bitty thing like it used to, right? It grows. So it covers up and makes those knots deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper in the wood. How does that pertain to our life, you're wanting to know? Well, let me tell you. When we sin, when we have another life that was not a good life, and we ask God to forgive us of our sins, it goes away because God says that he forgives us of those sins, and so we no longer see those. They're no longer a part of our life. We just grow around that and we learn from that. We can either learn not to do that again, if that wasn't the way we wanted to live. Or we can also live, uh, use it as a testimony of how our life was. So do you see that the knots in the board is like their testimony? This is the way things were when I was growing up. This is how I am now. This is the beauty that deep, deep, Problems that I had long ago while he was grow the tree was growing are forgiven. They're gone. Their beauty 
because they mean something to us that God forgave us of that and that we won't do that again. If we do, we can ask for forgiveness again. But also, we come across people in our lives that have the same problem and we have a testimony to tell them how we got away from that. How we used to do that, but we are, we are saved. And in John, 1 John 9, it just says, just to ask him, and he'll forgive us of our sins. I think it's kind of cool that everything we do, we can have a lesson. And this lesson is going to be not getting paint all over me. I'm going to turn it around. And if you can see, I'm just taking the sponge and just kind of sponging over the holes. So we are just about through with this, and then I have a cute little verse on here that I'm going to do. Now, let me tell you, this four that I have on here was terrible. It did not want to play right. It didn't cut right. It didn't want to peel off right. Nothing about it was happy. I was about ready to throw it down and scream. But the good thing about this is I can take a tiny little paintbrush and I can fix everything that's imperfect. We can fix everything that's imperfect in our lives too. If we have something that we don't know how to fix, believe me, God does, and he can help us. And he also gives us people, friends in our lives that can help us also. So a lot of us have been through a lot of the same things. And our knots are just like other knots. Okay, so I'm doing six. And honestly, leaving this on a little bit is going to help us down there at the bottom when we start peeling this off. So this is going to be good. If you are watching me on replay, please do hashtag replay so we know that you are here and that you watched us. If you're watching us on Facebook, you can go up and hit follow, and that way you don't miss any of our, our um, crafts when we come on. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and hit the bell. That bell's going to ring when we're coming around so you'll know. Because we don't want to miss a time with y'all. We really enjoy, really, really enjoy time, spending time with y'all. And I got a little bit on the brown, but we're going to be able to take care of that too. An X-Acto knife works great on taking this stuff off when I make a mess. Just scratch it off a little bit. Okay, this says right here, you are loved beyond measure. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. You'll see it here in a minute. I'm going to peel this off. Boy, glad Paula wasn't here. I'd have knocked her in the head. <laughs> What'd you say? You're fun too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I missed one right there, but we can come back and get it. And as you can see, these are just peeling off so easy. And I'm just going to throw it on the floor. And I've got that one more line to come back and fix. That won't take long. Our studio does not have nice floors in it for this very reason. So if anybody wants to come over and play, I don't care if you get my floors nasty. It's all good. And we also have a new um, group on Facebook. 
and it is called Crafting from His Word. And if you would like, you can um, let us know and we can get you in our group. Doesn't cost anything. And if you, um, if you join us, we will um, send you an email that gives you all of the um, supply list of what we're gonna need. If you're local here in Tyler um, and you are a part of that group, then you can come and with us on Tuesdays. But we will be live every Tuesday from nine till 12 or somewhere in there. I hate for y'all to just watch paint dry sometimes, but you'll see all of us and you'll be able to talk with us, interact with us. Um, we just kind of played with it last week, just to, or a couple of days ago, just to kind of learn how we're gonna do this. So, we look so forward to doing that, and Mary Kay, you can come to my house and play, and um, it's lots of fun. We made some little porch leaners um, that just turned out so cute, and um, if you're in our group, we'll tell you what happened to the porch leaners. Um, Lacey had a cute one in the middle. <laughs> it was so precious, and we can put and anybody in our group can put what they are crafting on the, on there also. So we can see what you're doing. Okay. And I knew I had touched that a little bit too much on that side. So when it dries, I'm going to scratch it off. Let me get all this off. Now, I left enough room between here that I can put their name. So I can put in between the letters, I can go in uh, with the same font that I used here to put their names on there. That's gonna be really cute too. Anything that's personalized, I really like. Now, we're not gonna be able to do it because we're not gonna dry fast enough. When I get through and I get it dry, we're going to use some men wax, um, paste finishing wax, and we're going to put it all over the board. Just use an old rag um, and just wipe it all over the board, and that's going to seal it um, so it's not going to scratch quite so hard so easily. Um, if you're going to have little ones around, so you want it to last forever and you don't want it to all scratch off and be nasty. So you're going to want to do that. Plus, it just gives it that extra pretty little shine and what you want to be as a finished product. Alright. So... Let's see if y'all can see. Uh, you are loved beyond the measure. And then you can see the numbers. Isn't that cute? Make one. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to make one just like this? Do you want to spend $75 when somebody else did it? When you know how to do it now. Isn't it precious? All right, so hey, I've got one thing marked off of my Christmas list. How about y'all? Y'all get busy and make one too. We just thank you so much. I just thank you so much. I'm used to saying we both do enjoy y'all, your company. We thank you for joining us. If you like us, if you love us, be sure and let us know down below. If you have any comments, be sure and put them down there. Hashtag replay if you watched us afterwards. Just let us, we do read your comments. So if you'd like to ask us a question or anything like that, please comment down below. Share it. You know, I got that word that I'm not supposed to say. Sprinkle the love is what most people say. But if you will do that, that will help us with our ministry because we are actually a ministry and not just a, a crafting group. Although we love to craft, we also love Jesus.
much and we want to get the word out. So if you will sprinkle and share the love, we sure would appreciate it. So that's all for today. I sure appreciate it. We love you. Be sure and love one another. Bye.